What is up, y'all? Right now, it is currently the middle of October. We are in full swing Halloween mode around here. I kind of figured, like, you know what? We really haven't been into Walmart in a while. So let's do a fishing challenge today, kind of revolving around Halloween. I'll explain kind of like my thoughts when we get in there. But one thing about this Walmart, literally every time I come here, no matter what, like right now, it is Wednesday at 2.18 p.m. Literally the most random day and time. And I know this place is going to be filled with people shopping for Walmart stuff. Oh, by the way, it's also extremely windy today. So that's going to be interesting when we're fishing. Yeah, let's not waste any time. Here, let me stop talking. Let's get into Walmart. Oh, yeah, we are in full Halloween swing. We got the pumpkins, we got the scarecrows. Oh, this is the aisle right here, man. Not for like this video here today, just for like the season in general. By the way, candy corn. Do y'all like this, man? I feel like there's a like, great debate nowadays. People pro candy corn, people very against it. There's actually a lot of different kinds here, too. We got harvest corn, autumn mix, pumpkins. Candy corn is weird, but I kind of like I could eat it, I could kind of vibe with it. Weaving my way through the aisles here. It's interesting always shopping at Walmart because like around every corner, around every turn, you never know what you're gonna freaking see, man. This is actually my first time seeing all this Halloween stuff here. I've not been here in a long, long time. Now this also does not really have anything to do with the video here today. I just kind of stumbled across here. But shout out to good old prom zombie. Sorry if you've ever been that, but what kind of like kid walks into Walmart and is like, yo, that is it. That is what I want to be for freaking Halloween, man. Prom zombie. <laughs> See, that is more like it, man. That is freaking sick, dude. If I had a kid, that I would be so proud they wore that. All right, we're getting back to the video here, but real quick, clearance section at Walmart. Have y'all ever found fishing stuff in this section or like anything actually good? Usually just filled with like a bunch of random crap. I always, I don't know, I always stop by and take a look at it. Here we are getting to the fishing challenge for the video here today. This the good old fishing section. All right, so as I said, for this fishing challenge here today, we're gonna be doing kind of like a Halloween theme. When I think about Halloween, there's like three colors that are kind of associated with it. Orange, black, and purple, I think, right? What we're gonna be doing here, we're gonna be going through the whole Walmart fishing section. We're gonna try to find one lore that's black, one lore that is orange, and one lore that is purple. You know, a little Halloween type thing. We're also just gonna be looking around, seeing if there's anything real cool here. But hopefully we can find those colors of lures, and then we're gonna take that out to the body of water that we're gonna go fish. And hopefully not get blown away by these crazy freaking winds and hopefully actually catch some fish. All right, hopefully they have the colors of stuff we're looking for. Let's just jump right into this, man. By the way, I am colorblind, so that's the thing. First, let's try to find like something orange. I feel like that might be one of the harder colors. Hello. Is this orange? I think that is also orange. Orange-ish, right? Black. Black beetle spins. Let's do one of these guys right here. The famous $1 Walmart spinnerbait in black. Put that right there. All right, now this is gonna be the hard one. So being colorblind is like really hard. Like I can't even explain it. The two colors that I always have trouble you know, telling apart are blue and purple. So we're gonna try our best here to differentiate which ones are purple, if there are any purple. For example, like these things right here, the color for this, it's not blue, it's not purple, it's tequila sun. Blue, purple, like these crawls right here, I thought these were purple, but apparently they are black and blue. What about these things right here? June bugs, gotta be purple, right? I'm try to FaceTime my girlfriend so she can help me real quick. I'm actually swapping these zoom worms out. These black beetle spin. All right, these are the three purple ones I found. My girlfriend's actually not available at the moment. So this, Ribbon tail, this is uh, tequila sun. These little rage swimmers right here. And these June bug yum dingers. If they're not a purple band, I, I don't know what to tell you. We got three rows of each color. We got orange, orange, orange. Black buzz bait, black finesse worm, black spinner bait. Purple ribbon tail worm, purple straight tail worm. Strike king rage swimmers. So this is row one, this is row two, this is row three. We're gonna choose the orange first. Choose the number between one and three. All right, series acting brand new on us, so this is what we got going on here. We got the wheel out. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. One, two, and three. Let's spin for orange here. What are we gonna get to fish with today? That is orange. Option three. One, two, three. That is this round trap right here. I'm pretty sure that is orange E, right? So that right there, first bait of the day. All right, that's not YC time here. Boom. Let's see what we're gonna get here. Option two, option three. Oop. Oh, black finesse worm from zoom boom bait number two all right now, since we already got like a zoom worm right there i'm gonna take these worms away we're gonna get these i think these are i mean these are purple right boom. put all this stuff back yo that's actually sick we got the halloween colored floors let's get out of here man let's get to the water hopefully we catch some freaking fish on this it's so freaking witty though you guys are gonna see mm -hmm. 
what the heck? Okay, this is like really freaking weird, man. So right now I'm actually walking on what was underwater. I mean, look, all this stuff you see right here, this was literally all underwater. And this over here, this is the remains. What the heck is going on, man? It looks like there's a little deeper portion over here. This is like kind of concerning. I mean, there were a lot, a lot, a lot of fish in here. This water level is down so much that it's just like, can these fish even survive in here? I mean, I'm walking in places that I could not even cast to. This is so freaking insane. I did not expect this. So we're going to cast around over here, I guess. I actually have a frog tied on this rod. I, I might just cast this around first before we actually start this challenge. I mean, I drove a while to get here. We might have to find another body of water. The thing about like this kind of water when it's down this low, these fish either could have like not enough oxygen so they could be super, super lethargic or they could just not have enough food and go crazy for anything. So I don't know. I'm going to cast this thing around a little bit. This is absolutely insane. This is not what I expected, man. So just from throwing a few casts around here, I could see wakes. Like, I think there's fish in this deeper water. There's actually some fish left in here. I don't know, man. Is this to the point where, like, like do these things need to be rescued? Oof. All right, we started this challenge off here with this little orange rattle trap. Now, I don't know if this is going to be deep enough here to actually toss this around. I have no clue, like, the actual depth, but... It's definitely deep enough. All I gotta say, man, if I do that this water was like this, I definitely would not have picked this bait. I really am thinking though. Oh, there's like a little wake right there. So we went from top water to moving bait. If this doesn't get hit, which I I I don't know. At least we have Oh I just got bit. Oh I just got bit. I was just saying. All right, I don't know if this is going to work right now, man. Next up on the menu, we're going to put these little guys on right here. This is the Black Zoom Finesse Worm. So we're just going to Texas rig it. Nice weedless presentation. Hopefully, I mean, there are fish in here. They'll dig the slower presentation. Well, one good thing about today, it's not really windy over here. Oh, there's a fish. That's a fish on in the little puddle. Oh, it's a tiny one. I think it's tiny, right? Come here, buddy. It's good to see that there's still fish. First fish of the day. Oh, he's got some salad in his mouth. Boom. <laughs> tiny little dude, man. First fish of the day. Oh, gosh. First fish of our little Halloween challenge. So that is the black color. So that is a thing. This is not the size I was expecting to catch here today. Yeah, that, uh, yeah, that's the first one of the day. Not too bad, man. Could definitely be smaller. Let's let him back in there. Slower presentation might be the way to go here. Like there were, I have to check the other side of this pond, kind of goes like around that corner, but there were some giant, giant fish in here. So I mean like, what's going on there? Are they in this little deep pool right here? Oh, there's a fish. There's a fish. Oh no, dude. What is going on here, man? Second fish of the day on this little zoom finesse worm. Tiny, like this is like the same little kind of cookie cutter bass. Oh geez, yep, I'll take it, man. Fish is a fish. I'm just like kind of concerned about where these big fish are. Let's let that guy go back in there. It seems like the small fish at least have survived or are surviving. I think I found another one of those deep-ish kind of holes. It's like the only other one I see in this whole place. I'm gonna try to cast it over here. Somebody's not happy over there driving. Oh, I got a fish on there. That's a better fish. Okay. That might be one of those ones I was after there. I literally haven't pinned. Oh my gosh, she's in weeds too. Is this just weeds or is this a big fish? Oh gosh, all right. Oh God. He's still on there. I'm gonna walk him over here. Holy crap. Oh my God, dude, it's so slippery. Come here, boy. Dude, this might be a freaking big one. Oh gosh. Okay, there it's coming. Is there a fish in that? Holy crap. That is a big thing of lettuce. 
Please tell me there's a freaking fish inside of that. Oh, dude. What the heck? Holy crap, dude. Oh my God. What? No freaking way. I don't even know what to say, man. That's the first time I ever caught a crappy. I mean, that's a big old crappy too. I got a little zoom finesse worm. In this little dried pond. <laughs> dude, the way he was biting it too. I was like wondering why the bass wasn't just taking it. Wow, that's a big crappy. I mean, seriously, I didn't even know this place had crappy in it. Whew, all right, man. That is, I don't, know, I don't know what number of fish that is, but that is the second species of the day. That is like almost bigger than those bass I was catching too. All right, let me not keep them out of the water too long here. It's just like hard to release. Like, I don't know where to release these dudes so that they actually get in the water. Look at all of the, this is what's on the bottom, man. This is what is driving me freaking nuts. That was a surprise. I did not expect that at all this is starting to get pretty interesting still no signs of those big fish though what the heck is this man let me put my rod down holy freaking crap so guys this all right here look this was all underwater look at this freaking field right here this whole thing now you guys have seen me fish here before this all literally all of this was underwater this little island right here if you guys remember the video where i had the little snake lore pretty much i waited out this was the goose poop island right here this is what I stood on and cast it around. You can see the drop off. This looks like an old fish bed right there. I mean, dude, what? I, I don't know. I'm wondering if there's farm around here somewhere where this like water all went to that. I don't know if that's the kind of pond this is or it's just GG's. So it looks like if there are any big fish left to be saved, they're gonna be over here. So I'm gonna come back. There's little baby frogs jumping around. I'm gonna try my best. To see if there's any big ones still in here. Maybe somebody already rescued them. I mean, so far overall, this is, been a very very interesting day we still got some mysteries to unsolve here unsolve solve there we go just text straight this little swim bait right there um <clears throat> i am just very very confused So this is gonna be the second pond here today. I'm gonna be chucking slipless around all bare here. It's actually like, I don't know, I heard very good things about this pond, but apparently it gets really deep just off this bank right here. I mean, this is like really close to sunset. If there's any fish in here, they should be feeding. Just kind of gonna be throwing the slipless around first. I don't know, this is like new territory for me, you know what I mean? Definitely with that sun going down though, it's getting a little chillier out here. Not like chilly, it's just cooler out. Got a nice little breeze, it's actually like, Feels really, really nice. Come on, man, we need a freaking lunker. After, I don't even know what the heck the first pond was here today. That, that was like so out of the way too, the fact that it was like gone. That's a fish. Oh, did he not get it? Or is, it, is he on? Oh my gosh, all right, first fish of the day. That is, not what I expected. <laughs> on the lipless, what is going on today, man? Yet again, another freaking crappy. It is a crappy day. What can I say? All right, buddy. That is not what I thought that was gonna, he hit it pretty hard. I slowly started switching lures around. That was actually on the gold lipless crankbait that I got uh, a couple videos ago. At least it's good to see that there's actually fish in here. That's the first fish I ever caught out of this body water. That's another fish. Is that a crappy? It feels a little bit better. Oh, that was a freaking bass. He shook it. Oh my gosh. All right. Whew. Dang it, man. I'm gonna toss this around a couple more times then I'm gonna put on challenge stuff. I just have a feeling about this gold right now. I don't know, it's this lucky gold lore, man. All right, rattle trap. Let's see what we can do. Oh my gosh, right by my, oh, that's a decent fish right there. Okay, come here, boy. Holy crap. <laughs> he was right by my feet. No joke, that was right by my freaking feet. Oh my God. Oh, all right, second bait accomplished today. If he falls, man, I, I still caught him. I always love dealing with these treble hooks, man. Oh yeah, nice. All right, let me use the pliers here. Not even joking, man. That thing bit like right near my feet. Ooh, all right, y'all, second bait accomplished there yeah that's a little, that a little pretty fish right there super super aggressive Get back in there oh my god that was so cool so we have completed the black lore which was the little worm this little rattle trap right here the only thing left i mean we got bites on it 
we could not catch anything was that little swim bait i did not expect that man that fish fought like what do you think that fish was like maybe a pound who's freaking pulling drag man i love fishing man ah come on round trap do your magic i'll tell you one thing man these sunsets never get old all right that is going to do it here for this video today if you guys did enjoy this video please make sure to go down there hit that thumbs up button it really does mean a lot to me I mean, as you guys know i have no clue what the heck was going on with that first pond but we managed to catch fish in that pond and in the second pond it was overall i mean it was a pretty decent day as you all know i mean being out there is so awesome but then when you catch fish man it just makes it that much better if you all do enjoy my videos please make sure to go down there click that subscribe button and if you never want to miss an up but for me go down there hit that notification bell That'll pretty much, you know, make sure that YouTube lets you know when I upload a new video. Shout out to Brendan, the common winner from the last video. If you guys want to win, random shout out at the end of the next video. All you got to do, man, go down there, leave a comment. Any comment, I will put it through a random generator. And you could be the one that gets a shout out at the end of the next video. It is cold in my apartment right now. I just got finished editing up this video. Now, tonight, I have to edit up another video as well. It takes a long time to do this editing stuff, man. But I am trying to get ahead. Tomorrow, I'm actually going out on a trip that's going to be for five days. I'm not going to have service. But these videos should be going up when I am gone. So yeah, man, hopefully, I mean, if you're seeing this video, everything went smoothly. But yeah, man, that's pretty much going to do here for this video today. As I said, I got a lot of stuff to do. Thank you guys so much for all the support. It truly does mean the freaking world to I me. Mean, all I got to say, man, is let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. See you next video.